three of my all-time favorite summertime bass fishing lures. Let's go. Welcome back to the Guggen Lab. Today we are looking at three of my all-time favorite baits for fishing in the summertime. It's gonna vary a little bit between like ponds, you know, lakes, a little bit, but it all comes down to crankbaits, topwaters, and worms. So let's start with the worms. Summertime, it means post-spawn, fish are done being up shallow and defending their beds and doing all that that messy work and they are ready to eat something big. So you wanna go big on your soft plastics and a big worm really puts out a big presence and it is something that fish want after the spawn and really all through summer, all these hot months, it, it's just a great uh, bait to fish mid depth, out deep, it's fantastic. So I like to go with our 10 inch Mondo worm. Uh, we have a, a smaller size Mondo worm too that can work well in you know maybe some smaller ponds or areas where the fish are more pressured but if i know that there's bigger bass around and i want to make a big presence in the water i'm going with a 10 inch mondo worm on a texas rig 90 percent of the time sometimes i'll carolina rig it but texas rig mondo worm quarter ounce to three eighths maybe even a half ounce if i'm fishing out 20 foot plus but that bait just gets it done around brush piles, docks. It is fantastic for fishing any lake really that has bigger bass in it. Second one, you gotta have a top water because sometimes fish are gonna come up school in the middle of the day. It could be hundred degrees outside, slick calm, and then all of a sudden some fish are just pushed to the surface by some bass. You need to have a top water ready. So I like a walking style bait. Uh, sometimes I'll, I'll throw, you know, a, a blooping or a plopping style bait as well. It really just kind of depends on the water clarity and all that. I really like uh, a walking style bait. I like the hound when it's when it's clear, fish can see the bay from a good ways down, and just that constant back and forth motion. Uh, bloopers, uh, popping style bait that works really good in the in the low light. Uh, the morning hours it's a little bit slower but you got to have a top water and at the ready too because like i said middle of the day they can come up you want to be ready third favorite lure of all time for summertime fishing is a crankbait so that can vary between deep diving crankbaits like the recon or shallow diving crankbaits like the banger but these crankbaits are just, uh, I mean, they imitate shad and, and bass are feeding on shad heavily throughout the summertime, uh, pretty much all day. If they see uh, an opportunity to eat a shad, they're going to do it. Uh, with a deeper diving crankbait, you can make contact with the bottom out there, you know, 15 foot, you can hit brush piles with it. You can throw it out, out in timber. Uh, there's a lot of things that you can do with it or just random casts if you see fish uh, suspended on your electronics and then shallow diving crankbaits low light hours throwing it up against docks throwing it against the shoreline when it's really windy really like to throw crankbaits when you got windy conditions and it's not super overcast so more sunny a lot of wind crankbaits are excellent all summer long so those are my top three baits for fishing summertime bass if you want to see more tips and tricks, subscribe right here to Guggen Labs. We'll see you next time.